should define, even if it's small. Even, even if you, she said to me, Mark, you got a spot on your shirt. Doesn't matter. I need to improve that spot. <laughs> That's what it's about. That's how we become more effective. Everybody say effective. effective. We become more effective communicators. And also, we video all of our talks. And they, we put them on YouTube. Now, I think when we see ourselves on video, that is, that, that's a little scary. I'll be honest with you. It's scary the first time, but after a while, you get a little used to it. But that is how we grow. And that is what people see. That is what people see. So you need to know what people see in you. That's, that's how we grow here in Toastmasters. One more person, your thought on what phase you thought was the best. Okay, we got to remember, we got to take action. There is no right or wrong. We all know each other. We're friends in this room for the next 10 minutes. So don't worry, we won't get mad. So any phase you thought was maybe a little better than the other. All right. Personally, I enjoy the prepared speeches, the first part of this, the group meeting, when these guys have known for a month or two that the, today they're going to speak. They've taken the time to research. They've taken the time to develop their speech. They're taking the time to bring information to me that maybe I didn't know about. It's their own topic. They've decided on what to do but I'm the one being educated in five to seven minute breaks. And last but not least, before I turn it back over to the President, I, this is something that I just want to emphasize that we really emphasize in Toastmasters. Imagine for a minute, we're two years down the road, and you've been hired for a company to speak. They're paying you 2,000 bucks for an hour. What's the first thing you need to know? That's good. That's a good one, though. What is the, okay, in the audience, yes. What is, you're being paid. We're, they're hiring you to speak to this organization. What is your next question? What are you going to be talking about? Time. What's their interests? Topic. Content. Name Name of the company? Name of the company? Okay, now I'm giving you just an opinion. But someone said it over here, I don't know who it was. Time. Oh. oh. How much time do I have? <laughs> you may have you know, five minutes, or you may have 55 minutes. The time will determine everything. How you set up, how you structure your talk. It's about the time. Typically, if you're talking for five minutes, or I'm sorry, 50 minutes, you probably have five the six points that you're going to be hitting. Five to seven minute points, because we do typically five to seven minute talks here. So time is extremely important, and that's why we have a timer. So it's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Well, I've enjoyed myself today. I, I hope, I, my, my hopes are that everybody in here takes action. I want you to think about that dream, goal, vision that you have for your life. And if you don't take action, who will? Because people don't see what you see. They don't see your dream. You're the only one. And if you don't take the action, no one, no one will. And therefore your dream dies in the comfort zone. Because I was afraid to take action. This is it. This is what we do with it. Give your dream a voice, fellow Toastmasters and future Toastmasters. Because it's your dream and your voice. Thank you. A big round of applause for our in-house DTM, our distinguished Toastmaster, Mark Thompson. Mark is our energy plug. Every week he's got so much energy that he brings in club is very inspiring. And we have a very diverse club. We have a lot of uh, different people from backgrounds, different nationalities, different countries. And it's so insightful. We learn something every, from every single person in our group. We are a very uplifting club. We like to 
talk about motivation, how we can be, become just better people in general, better outlook, better uh, focus on life. And every once in a while we even talk, you know, what's going on in this world and our impact in this world. And so these are some of the things that I have. So if you're really thinking about what else could I do? How do I open more doors for myself? Take a look at the information in the packets here. You can come check out, we invite you, love to have you come check out our club. Next week I do believe we're having some food. Uh, possibly, yeah, yes, food. possibly I think we're going to get some food in for lunch, so we're welcome to come check out our club. But Toastmasters can really give you so much, and you can give Toastmasters so much. Your experiences, your background, you bring all of that with you, and then you, you grow from that. You learn how to speak, you learn how to talk with people, you learn how to be a coach, you learn how to talk in front of a family event. You learn how to make a better work presentation. And when you gain that confidence in those duties and those in your daily life, you feel so much better about yourself and what you're capable of doing. Open the door for yourself. Challenge yourself. As Mark says, every time we step up to this lectern, it is our chance. This is the safest room to spread your wings. You have Everyone here supporting you, guiding you, wanting you to do great things. And that's one thing that we get, that I get to Toastmasters. They want you to succeed. Yes. How big is your club and how often do speakers speak? Speakers speak as often as they every want. Week. Every week. Say There's again? Every and everybody week. speaks every week? No, 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 no. Two, 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 two speakers week. each week. Okay. Two speakers a week and it just really depends. Right now we have a roster of about 34 uh, because we work at the DWR. We've kind of, our attendance has dropped off because everybody's really busy. But uh, we're trying to get everyone to come back and get into the habit of being here. Because when we do see members we haven't seen in a while, nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, they bring an energy. They bring knowledge. They bring a presence to them that we miss. We really love each and every one of our members. We really like having you here. And it's it's a place where, as, as I, if I may use this example, Tracy had a car accident on a Wednesday morning. Not, not this Wednesday, no, a Wednesday morning. And she says, you know, my day could have been so bad. I had my car had to be towed, I had to do this, I had to do that. She's like, but one of the topics or that our meetings are so uplifting, she just remembered, like, well, I'll get through this. Well, I'll, I, you know, I have Toastmasters to look forward to. Literally, she said that. She came and she said, this is the best day of the week. Because you come to a supportive environment. You come to a place where you can be yourself, improve yourself. And it's, it's just, it's empowering. And we want to share that with you. And whether you explore it with us or another club, find one that fits. Because it can really offer you so much. So if anyone has any other questions, I'd be happy to answer. We, 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 our officers would be happy to answer. And we'd love to talk to you after the meeting. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today. We totally appreciate it and hope you learned something. So, thank you. Anybody? Questions? Comments? I'll take it. <laughs> I, I made a quick comment. Uh, Coming into Toastmasters, I've been a member of probably close to 20 years, and at that time, I didn't have any, I didn't have belief in my story. And all of you have a story. I don't know what that story is, but you have a story. And many times we think our story is not valuable to others. And that's an assumption we make that's not true. Because I've seen the, the, the quietest, the shyest person come into Toastmasters and tell her story and bring people tears. She didn't think her story mattered. Or he, she didn't think her story mattered. But it did. 
I, 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 I want you to know your story counts, and we're asking you to bring your story, your experience. That's what it's about. And when we believe in our story, future Toastmasters, that's how we get out of that comfort zone and say, this is my story. And we can all learn from that. So be not afraid to tell your story because I don't believe in my story until I told it. So believe in your story. Life begins outside of that comfort zone. That's what it's about. So that's all I got. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> 